All right, welcome back to Speak English Like a Native Speaker, where I take a basic English sentence and then show you how a native speaker would say it. Let's get started. Becoming an actor is very difficult. First, you have to get opportunities by doing auditions. If you're talented, people will start to notice you. Becoming an actor is an uphill battle. First, you have to get your foot in the door by doing auditions. If you're talented, you will start to turn some heads. Okay, so an uphill battle is a complicated and challenging task. Similar to soldiers fighting a battle going uphill. Almost impossible. Maybe learning English is an uphill battle. Frustrating, takes a long time, feels like you're never gonna learn it. But hey, whoa, don't stop there. Keep learning, you guys are doing great. For me, growing a YouTube channel is an uphill battle. But thanks to all you guys who watch and subscribe, makes it fun and easy for me. Oh yeah, by the way, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Okay, getting your foot in the door means getting that first small opportunity that leads to other big opportunities. Oftentimes, this phrase is used when applying for jobs. When you apply for a job, you wanna first send your resume to the company to get your foot in the door. Then, maybe the company will give you an interview. And then you get the job. Maybe. Turn heads means to get someone's attention by doing something so amazing, so impressive, or looking so hot and so attractive that people will actually turn their heads to look at you. All right, so I know it was a lot, but now that you know what these phrases mean, the native version will make more sense. Let's see it again. Becoming an actor is an uphill battle. First, you have to get your foot in the door by doing auditions. If you're talented, you will start to turn some heads. And, of course, I have the usual quiz for you to help you remember these fine phrases. Not bad, guys. Feels pretty good to learn some new stuff, huh? But if you need more practice, you can always rewatch the video or take the quiz again. There are tons of other native style phrases like these. Try to listen for when native speakers use them and when they use them, and then you too can start practicing using them yourself. Getting used to using native style English will take your English to the next level for sure. Anyway, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out one of my other videos on the next page to learn even more English.